too cosy with the girls. Filtering it for fans. Since hot booty, boobs and bedroom antics weren't enough to keep them together, here's the real reason why Croy, Kim and her wigs are headed for Splitsville. We have an amazing relationship. We sure do. We click. Croy Bierman has a very close relationship with his wife, Kim Zolciak Bierman's daughters from her previous relationships. Brielle and Ariana Bierman took on Croy's last name when their mum married him, and they've been public about their platonic admiration for each other over the years. But that hasn't quelled the controversy. In 2020, Brielle and Croy made headlines after she posted on Instagram for his birthday. Trolls thought it was inappropriate for 23-year-old Brielle to sit on her stepdad's lap. She clapped back in the comments, writing, I had nowhere else to sit. We were making jokes the whole time about him being Santa. It was comedy. Kim also spoke out, telling Us Weekly that the backlash came from ignorant, disrespectful people. But that wasn't the first time the two raised eyebrows. Croy once walked in on Brielle with a boyfriend, which Kim laughed off, telling Too Fab, Brielle's an adult. Croy was unaware that she was around, so it was a sheer accident. An age gap in a relationship can be a challenge, and Kim made no secret of the fact that Croy is younger than she is. Kim is roughly eight years older than her hubs, and she hasn't held back on blasting him over their age gap. During a 2019 episode of Don't Be Tardy, things boiled over as Kim prepped for her 40th birthday. Do you ever get mad at him for being 32? Admitting that she's obsessed with her appearance and claiming that Croy was, quote, stupid for not marrying someone in their early 20s, she added, Everything's getting older. Like, at 60, my t's are gonna sag, but he'll pick them up for me or hold them up, so don't you worry. The star also joked about their ages on Croy's 35th birthday, posting to Instagram, Boy, did I rob the cradle with you, and I'm so glad I did. It turns out Croy's bod was a big draw for Kim when they first got together. But Kim revealed that there was a somewhat unexpected feature on the football star that attracted her to him. Yep, his booty. Kim opened up about their first meeting, telling E! News in 2013, I didn't really think anything. I just thought, you know, wow, he's got a really cute butt and he's got a million dollar smile. I love big, wide smiles. The two met at a charity event where Kim came out swinging. Can I just be honest with you? I've never in my whole life seen an ass like that. Yeah? We were all sitting at the table. I was like, 10, 10. I just had to tell you, adorable. Right. Though Croy happily took on a loving father role to Kim's kids, adopting both Brielle and Ariana, it's probably lucky that the football star didn't have children of his own before he met Kim. As she told E! News in 2013, I don't know that I could love somebody else's children as much as Croy loves the girls. I just don't know if I have it in me. The former NFL star also opened up about why it was so important for him to adopt the girls and how marrying into an instant family changed his life. He shared, In order to keep balance, you have to have priorities. You know, our careers are our priorities, our kids, our health, um, our happiness. Croy explained that he didn't divert too much from his typical routine before he met Kim, recalling that he would go to work and come home, on repeat. But his priorities shifted when he became a dad. He added, My house is not as, you know, it's not going to be as clean as, as it was before. It never and it's will. Not, and it's not as, it is, but it's not important. You know, those things are not as important. Let's just say, Kim was pretty proud of her husband and wanted the whole world to know it. Back in 2018, she was accused of manipulating Croy's manhood in a snap she posted of the twosome in swimwear by the pool. Kim wrote, Private beach, baby, my favorite place on earth. Love your speedo, honey bunny. But according to All About the Tea and Reality Blurb, a number of fans suggested Kim may have photoshopped her hubby's bathing suit area to make it look a little bigger. <laughs> Eagle-eyed Instagram users pointed to the couple's reflection in the pool, which appeared to show Croy's manhood wasn't quite as large as it appeared. Kim never confirmed nor denied any editing of the snap. Remember when Croy found himself on the wrong side of Kim's former Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star Kenya Moore? It all went down when she suggested men shouldn't be allowed in front of the cameras after Croy stepped in to defend his wife. Why do you have She's such a hard on for me? Didn't they cut it off during your reassignment surgery? In May 2018, Moore admitted during a since-removed episode of Bravo's Daily Dish podcast that, because of her interaction with Croy, she wanted husbands banned from the show. 
The two ladies had a fight over John Legend tickets, which saw Croy step in on behalf of his wife. Kenya recalled, I remember when she threw her phone at me and hit the table and broken glass went everywhere. All of a sudden, I look up and Croy is standing over me. He's a big guy. Obviously, his wife was upset. I'm like, is he coming after me? You can't show up when your wife is having a fight, jumping in the middle of it or intimidating other castmates that are women. It's just not a good situation. If the rumors are to be believed, Croy's ex-girlfriend claims he cheated on her with Kim while they were still very much together. Croy's former girlfriend, Elizabeth Seward, told In Touch that she and Croy were official and were giving their long-distance relationship a go. They have no idea that I've been like really dating Croy. But just days later, Elizabeth saw that Croy had attended Cynthia Bailey and Peter Thomas's wedding with Kim, after which she confronted him about their relationship. Croy initially claimed he and Kim were just friends, but eventually revealed they were dating. Elizabeth added, I want Kim to know about it, the manipulation and the lies. Obviously, our relationships overlapped. I felt completely betrayed. Kim appeared to address the allegations with a cryptic message on Twitter, posting, Another day, another stupid story. Meanwhile, my husband and I sit back and laugh. Though their relationship appeared to be strong, there was at least one other almost breakup for Croy and Kim. Apparently, the athlete was crumbling under the pressure of the media coverage of their early days, and he sent Kim a text in 2010 suggesting they go their separate ways. As she shared on her House of Kim podcast in 2018, Kim wasn't happy, recalling, I was like, why? What's up? It just is what it is. I'll never forget that. It just is what it is. And I was like, this ass f him then. I don't need him. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Kim claimed Croy wouldn't say why he didn't want to be with her, and the two kept their distance for a day and a half. Croy admitted, I was able to feel my compass within 36 hours and be like, whoa, hold on. Croy sent her flowers and the two reunited. Kim and Croy weren't exactly modest about their sex life at all. And as part of a video message to celebrate Gucci Mane and Keisha Kaur's marriage, Kim didn't hold back on her and Croy's secret to happiness. Sex, sex, and more sex. Oh, she's... That's a little vulgar, Mom. And communication! Maybe communication! Maybe Kim also got TMI on E's Daily Pop in December 2020. When asked to reveal the craziest place she's ever done it, she said, outside in view of, like, our neighbors on both sides. The two aren't too worried about getting intimate in close quarters around their kids, either. During a 2020 episode of Don't Be Tardy, while on a family RV vacation, they had this combo. We have no love life. It's <laughs> not uh, what you said this morning. I wish. 4 a.m. in the parking lot. Kim and Croy both seem super family-oriented, but each are estranged from their own parents. Fans will surely remember the drama between Kim and her mother Karen on Don't Be Tardy for the Wedding, which culminated in Karen getting kicked out of the wedding party. Kim's relationship with her parents has only gotten worse over the years. In 2017, when Kim's son Cash was bitten by the family dog, her dad, Joe, went public criticizing Kim and Croy for keeping the pet. Kim hit back, tweeting, They will do anything for a dollar. Croy's relationship with his own parents is also strained, ever since his 2011 wedding to Kim. He admitted on a 2014 episode of Don't Be Tardy that his parents never approved of Kim, mainly because she had two children from a previous relationship. If they'd had it their way, the two never would have married. As Kim recalled on Heather McDonald's Juicy Scoop podcast, they were in our driveway with a preacher praying against our wedding the day of. You are picture perfect. You just don't, you're not picture perfect to them. Their disapproval was enough for Croy to cut ties. In 2019, he said on Watch What Happens Live. They're great people, you know. Yeah, it's, they just, are. it's just we, we don't jive. Kim once made it very clear that the D word wasn't an option for her marriage to Croy. When asked by Fox News in 2017 if she was worried she and her husband could fall victim to the reality TV curse, 
Kim answered by comparing her marriage to network housewives like New Jersey's Teresa Judice, New York's Bethany Frankel, and Beverly Hills's Camille Grammer, whose marriages all crumbled as the Bravo cameras rolled. Kim told the outlet, That's not an option in my house. I would never allow a show to impact my marriage in any way. My marriage is definitely first. I even think soulmates sometimes don't even have as great of a marriage as Corey and I do. She also admitted that fame and media pressures may have been an issue for the other women and claimed that it's, quote, easier to get divorced than address any relationship problems. Six years later, she dropped a bombshell of her own. In May of 2023, Kim and Croy shocked the Bravoverse when it was confirmed that the couple was divorcing. According to TMZ, Kim was the first to file papers, calling the marriage irretrievably broken with no hope of reconciliation. The split came seemingly out of nowhere, considering that as recently as November 2022, the couple was happily sharing their secrets of their long marriage, telling E! News, Lots of sex. I think one of the biggest secrets is also communication. While not confirmed, the couple's financial woes may have played a part in their demise. Their sprawling Georgia home went into foreclosure in February 2023, and it was revealed they owe the IRS over $1 million in taxes, according to Fox News. Bethany Frankel weighed in on Kim and Croy's reported money problems on TikTok, saying, You're writing checks you can't cash, and it's gross. In the wake of the filing, Kim and Croy appeared to shade each other via social media. Kim shared a meme on an Instagram story which read, Uber driver asked me, do you have a man? I said, I am a man. Croy, whose Insta profile pic is still one of him and Kim, added to his bio, my ring meant a thing. You can Google me and see I wasn't tardy for that party. Of course, those are references to Kim's pop songs. But the really strange part? Amid all the drama, Kim and Croy are reportedly still living together as of May 2023, according to the Daily Mail, and allegedly avoiding each other.